Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Jimmy, and today I have another quick special banger for you, all right? Today we're gonna talk about how to make a good hash for Rec or Pro-Am. So with your hash, you can go shooting guard with it. To me, that makes the most sense. 6'6", six, six is to me, is like the best height to go with this. 180 pounds with a 6'8 wingspan. Now, the way that this is gonna be broken down, the hash is just basically a secondary ball handler that I can shoot from the hash. I can also play defense, and that's basically what you want from them. That's it, nothing more, nothing less. So we're going 81 with the speed to get our speed booster on bronze, and I mean on silver, and the same thing here, 73 to get our blow buys on silver. Then we go 63 on the strength. Now some people are going to not want 63 strength. I decide, I always like going 63 strength to get my physical handles on silver. But again, it's no right or wrong answer here. It also will help you with your clamps on silver and your fearless finisher. So you need to have some strength, but I decide to go to 63 to get the physical handles. Your vert, you wanna go 67 just so you can get your area wizard on silver, right? So we go 67 there. And then of course we'll go 95 on our stamina, all right? Um, now when it comes to the finishing side, you're gonna go 80 on the driving layup. And again, I know some people do not care about having their layup that high. I prefer that. And again, this is the beauty about this, this game is that there is certain strengths and weaknesses, certain things you prefer, you don't prefer. You can go ahead and tweak this the way that you want. But 80 driving layup for me with the Hall of Fame Pro Touch is gonna be huge. Driving dunk, only going 65 on the driving dunk. It'll give me some really good base dunk packages. It'll give you also like, you know, CJ McCollum, you know, um, Clay Thompson and some like, you know, really good athletic dunk packages. But for the most part, that's all you really need because the big one here is gonna be on your standing dunk, which is a lot different than your point guard. High standing dunk on this build is because that's where you'll get most of your opportunities anyway. You will be able to get every single standing dunk animation at 85. And then we're gonna still go 92 on a three ball because we wanna be able to shoot from the hash silver limitless is kind of the sweet spot there we'll go 90 on the free throw again rec pro and you gotta be able to hit your free throw so 90 is what we're gonna rock with now when it comes here to your ball handle i go 87 because i just want to get that killer combos okay some people are cool with 85 i go 87 with the killer combos on silver we go 77 on the pass accuracy. Some will also will rather go 68. And again, that's no wrong, right or wrong answer, whatever you're comfortable with. And then I'm gonna go 80 instead of 75 just to get that Devin Booker dribble style. Um, again, Devin Booker, pro, I kind of go in between the two. So it's really your preference. No right or wrong answer there. Just tweak it the way you want. Now, what really separates the hash other than being a secondary ball handler is not gonna be as high as a ball handle as your primary um, guard, but you're gonna have really good defense. So we're going 85 on the perimeter defense to get all those silver back with off ball pass on gold and then of course you go 91 on the steal now for most people the hash is not gonna be playing any type of primary on ball defense um it's usually gonna be your power forward and your lockdown that's gonna play primary on ball defense but what the good thing about your hash is, is that it can be able to play passing lanes help and pinch and if need be to get on ball too so that's the beauty about this and then that little bit left over I just went 43 on my um defensive rebound and just did a little bit on my interior now the question is this if you want to have block and you want to have any type of interior defense then what i would recommend is to drop your free throw drop your pass accuracy to 68 drop your ball handle to 85 drop your speed with ball to 75 drop your standing dunk to 73 and drop your driving dunk to 55. that will give you enough to be able to get your interior defense and block if you want to but other than that i feel like this is going to be a really solid um hash build and again there's no right or wrong answer here so at the end of the day it comes out as a um, I can't remember what the name it comes out to, but <laughs> regardless, it's going to be a good um, good hash slash lockdown type build for, you know, a secondary ball hunter for a rec squad, three-point shot hunter. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this. And other than that, it's your favorite old head, Uncle Jimmy. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say back soon with the banger, you know exactly what they were talking about. We're talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.